Go on, Bambi. Go on, Bambi. Go on, Bambi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Don't, don't show off. Don't show off now. So, you know what? Bambi, we've got you in the building today. And uh, you know what? You've been doing some big things, man. You've been uh, smashing it up. We've seen, obviously, on your social medias, you've uh, released your track yesterday, right? Uh, Thursday. What day is it today? Oh, uh, I don't Sorry. know. It's lockdown, man. No one. There's no I, day. I know anymore. that. <laughs> yeah, it's lockdown day. <laughs> I think it's three days ago now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, how's the response been? Amazing. Um, I was a bit scared of putting things out like this because it's not, it's not known of in our industry, as you know. It's very yeah. different, but it's who I am, and yeah, yeah. Um, everyone's loving it. So, I never started with Desi music. Oh, okay, cool. I've, I've always listened to it since yeah. I was like five years old. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've always loved it, but I've just never trained or, or sang in Punjabi before. So in the school I was brought up in, it was, was you know, predominantly black and white people. Mm -hmm. And I got into gospel, I got into R&B and soul. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so this Punjabi stuff came to me very late when I was 17, 18. And I'd never sang it before. And when you sing in English in Punjabi, it's two different things. Like, you need to learn all these riffs in Punjabi. You need to learn so many different things. And it's so much more complex. But luckily, I've been able to get it within a year. So when I released Salma, I literally had a short period to be like, OK, let's listen to Miss Buddha. Let's listen to, listen to this woman. How do they do it? Um, so I was not used to it. But I managed to pull it off yeah, a bit. So yeah. I was about eight when I started Bhangra dancing. But that, that was called Nachte Haste. Uh, which is based in Birmingham. Um, and Bale Shava came about when I was about 14, 15. So I was touring with them and doing all that stuff until I started singing. So how does it make you feel? You know, a lot of girls in our community look up to, you know, Bambi Veins as a, as a brand. Obviously, sometimes that gets lost in the fact that that's an actual person behind the whole kind of big name. Um, you know, is it a lot of pressure for you to think, you know, I'm... There's only a few women icons in our in our community mm. and you're um, lucky enough and kind of have the burden and lucky enough to have that on you. How does it feel to be that person? It feels amazing. Yeah. I think because I've always, um, even before I started music, I've always been in a very female community. Mm -hmm. um, like my mum, for example, is a single mum. Um, so I've been raised by my mum since I was five. Yeah, big yeah, up my yeah. mum. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, I've watched her raise four kids by herself, work three jobs, seven days a wow. week. Oh, wow. So, you know, that, that appreciation towards women has always been there before anything. And um, yeah, man, just it's just always stuck with me. And, I, and since I got into the industry, that's when it really clicked. Because like every event that I go to, even being here, surrounded by guys yeah. like obviously relating to us guys we're djs yeah. so i know in my own experience i found it really really hard like even just yeah. telling my dad i want, oh, yeah, I want to be a dj yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what i mean like so with the with the whole being indian and the the cliches that go around mm -hmm. it like how, how did you kind of deal with that oh, and, and it, break through that it was hard um it wasn't accepted for my family the only person who did support me was my brother um and my dad because he wanted to be a footballer and then his dad ripped up his contract which he was going to play for Aston Villa back in the day he was so good and so he understood that you know being an entertainer or doing something that's not business related or being a teacher or a doctor is not a real job so he understood that okay she wants to be a singer she genuinely has a talent he was like you should do it because we saw you come from like Nathalie Gabe the PBN yeah. era and I, I heard one of your interviews I know Rajiv did as well where you like listen you give the lyrics you sing it but then yeah. to become your own person, do you think this last year has been beneficial in that sense that you could define yourself as an artist because you come up with what, Retro Rari? Yeah. Which was, I think, your first main release. You had Chakkar before with DJ Hops, right? Yeah, that, that was a few years ago, though. Which was, yeah. which was a good track, yeah, a really yeah, good yeah, track, yeah, right? Yeah. But I think yeah. your sort of evol evolution as an artist happened in the last year. Do you Absolutely. think that's down to lockdown? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I was always, I, I obviously took a, a long break, but I had to, because I had to just understand everything, not just with music, but business-wise as well, just how everything works. It's so hard to do everything by yourself. You've got to be your own boss, right? Yeah, man, you need, you need a, you need a very good team. In, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, he's been a big blessing in my life. He's really took the time out to learn how to do everything that I don't like doing. I just like to be creative. Mm. So he's the brains behind everything. And I guess every team, you, you need everyone to do different things. You can't mm. do everything by yourself mm. with anything. Yeah, 100%. Um, so it was really nice to, you know, just really understand, okay, what kind of person am I, first of all? Mm. What do I want to represent? You know, what sound do I want to bring to the table? And that's when I met Shay. 
and it was just such an organic experience throughout this whole year like the way we vibe in the studio all these songs that will be coming out is all going to be very different from each other but it's just who i am he's a wicked producer he? he's bad you boy. know what what, what goes well boy. hand in hand with that is like you know when the chemistry is right Absolutely. you just know it's right and yeah. you know you're making it's, fire it's and so that, important that's a big thing yeah you, yeah, can't, you can't you can't fake it and you can't condition it it has to just you know, you you know we still play Nut to Dick Bay uh, every wedding. Yeah. Oh, no, it's still bang, don't <laughs> get me wrong. Chunky, there's a video of Chunky, you know, <laughs> we were going to get it out today. Yeah. So now you're obviously in London, in, in London, based in London. Are you, are you, bro me till you die, are you London, bro? Oh, mate, I'm always bro me till I die. Bro me till you die, oh, all yeah. right, okay, okay. That's oh, good, yeah. I like to rep the ends. And you know what, a lot of people don't know about you, and regardless what you say, that you're, uh, you know, your soul and your... You know, yeah. Gospel yeah. garage. We know you're a Desi head. Oh, absolutely. We're a Desi. Yeah, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how Desi yeah. Bambi is? Bass. <laughs> Bass head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a full bass. She's a full bass. <laughs> Listen, she's, she's a full crew. So you know what we're gonna do right now, yeah? All right, I'm gonna put you on the spot today, yeah. You've done some and research. I'm gonna do some research, some research, yeah. I know, I know <laughs> that, that you used to play the door. Yeah, many, many, <laughs> many. <laughs> when I was this <laughs> small. So what I'm going to do right look at now, the screen, look at the screen. Oh, I've, got, I've, no. got, I've got the original crew right here, Mr. Jazz Drumline, the baddest door player in the oh, country. More jazz. We're going to bring him on right now, yeah? What so about I'm the phone in the screen? But you know what? So hold on a second. <laughs> you know hold on a second. <laughs> you know what? So you, you got the baddest door player. Wait, 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 wait. Compared to someone who ain't played since no, I was no, no, no. eight years old. Compared to the bad girl. Yeah, the bad girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. So but not with the door. Can we get okay. the door? Can we get the door? So what you know what? These guys are really yeah. testing we're, we're me We're not going to test you. We're not going to test you. With this segment, we have to change the name to Boo Beetle. Oh my God, where the hell did you... Oh my days. Can we get Mr. Jazz on my Where did you find this picture? How did you find this picture, you stalker? He's that kind that right. I don't even have this picture anymore. All right, we're going to get the tall on now, yeah? This is my shift. I remember graffitiing it as well. There's another Christ. The Jazz going to play some beats. Do I have to copy you? The Jazz going to play. He's going to make it simple, yeah? Get some light on Bambi, yeah? So, Jazz going to play your beats. And. Bambi is going to show us. <laughs> oh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, here's the ladder. Hey, here's the ladder. Hey, here's the ladder. Everybody light around here. We're good. Is it just me that's not? Okay. Oh. 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 O
Yeah, yeah, man. Give it, give it up. When it comes to uh, like thanks, a video budget, you're talking maybe a couple of grand to five grand, whatever. But these budgets look huge. You look very comfortable in your skin as well. How yeah. are you enjoying that experience? Because it looks like pretty much a mainstream level. Yeah. So, so this is where I got, get a lot of my inspiration from. Right? Like I've been a, a bongo dancer in music, uh, music videos from back in the day. Yeah. And it's always been the same thing. DJs in the background with a hot girl and a Punjabi guy singing to the hot girl. And I'm like, okay, you know, let's not stop making the same thing again. This, we need some creativity. We need people to be drawn into it. That's what's going to be, that's what's going to make the audience love music again, love watching our videos again is difference. Yeah. When you look at mainstream, everyone's doing different things. That's it. And that's why I'm like, I don't want to be like everyone else. I want to do something different and I, I want to feel inspired by like people like Beyonce, people like Tana, people like Rihanna. Is, um, uh, like, how, how are you finding, is it Big Bounce Group from now? Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, how's things with them now? Are they helping you come up with these phenomenal ideas and video shoots and everything that's kind of just so different from everything else out there? So Big Bounce was started by me and my partner. Um, you know, give a shout out. Yeah, shout out to Satch, my partner. Hey. Hey. He, he's he's the gaffer. He's the gaffer. He's the gaffer, <laughs> he's the gaffer mate. He's the gaffer. Um, listen, I'm not black, black country, all right? He's a black country. <laughs> I think you understand um, what you're on about after long. I forgot to say um, so, What are you saying? Um, the, the Big Bounce is just a vehicle to help distribute and push our stuff forward without because I've had the experience of being through a label and it just, just wasn't right for me. I'm really bad at working for people. Um, I hate being controlled and you know, this just allows us to do our own thing and I'm allowed to have my own creative input in music or videos and stuff. So all these videos you see is all my direction, all my styling, everything I tell everyone, what, exactly what I have in my head and then we'll plan it before the your, shoot. Your entire vision is, is coming across. Oh, yeah, everything you know that, from retro to this. To be honest. Yeah. You can't put a price on artists. Yeah. You know what we want to do right now, yeah? We want to get you to drop us a couple of lines live. Where's the mic? I'm putting you in the spot today. I'm putting <laughs> oh you in the spot God. today. So, so, I'm a gig in ages. And you know what we're going to do? Yeah, we're giving you a gig, man. Come no, on, you should, be, you should be grateful right now. I am, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Can we get the lines you're going as well? You, know, that's it. you have to play you know Thor at the same time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm playing the Thumbi. <laughs> Listen, I'm not Lord Krishna. I ain't got, I ain't got seven, eight arms. <laughs> All right, so, so we're going to drop us a, a, a chat from uh, Dunya. And I think Vijay's going to... To the deck, is that right? Possibly, possibly. Yeah. All right, go, come, on, come, come on, come on, come on. have party or are you here? Friend here, friend here. So come on, drop us some lyrics from Dunia. Come on, live and direct. <laughs> Live and direct. Live All and right. direct. In, in a patwa accent, actually. All right. Okay. <laughs> Dunia. No, okay. Dunia. Kare charcha. Ekende mere baare. Kuri class diya. Class diya. Dunia. You know what? That was honestly fantastic. Boom, 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 boom. It's like... Uh, it's like... It's like... You know what? I almost felt bad for stopping it. But you know what? You know, you know last week, yeah? Like, hey, he he done a run out H this week. But right? he should normally be sitting in that seat. Yeah, where is he? Yeah, yeah he allowed yeah, right. us today, you know? He's lost, he's lost I just something. Like... Right? You know last week, right? Because I didn't partake in the in the wing challenge. You didn't eat the samosa yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, he didn't yeah. eat the samosa. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, I, I hid it over there somewhere. Yeah. Don't you found it, you know that? Are you going to sing Dunia? No, no, no. no. <laughs> But, you know what, last week H tried to say to me, oh, you know what, because the challenge is called Are You My Brother Challenge? And it's okay. like the, the fire segment of the show, yeah. right? But last week H was like, oh, you're not eating the mircha, so you know what, are, are you my sister? But you know what, this week I've actually got my sister here. Sister! You know, I know H isn't, she he's me bro. probably watching. She calls me bro? Yeah. I call are you, you bro? bro? I call everyone bro. <laughs> there you go then, so you know what, I'm a bro, I'm right a bro as well to a lot of people. Right, so H isn't here, and I know he's watching as well, so we've got our sister here as well, right? And what she's going to do is she's actually going to stick the next challenge on you guys. Yeah. You know what? Because you put me on the spot <laughs> twice. Yeah. That's what this is the brum coming out of me the now. The brum coming you out. Know like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do to you, mate? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? You have to be my backing vocals. Done, done. We'll do and it. Oh, and oh, my dancers. Oh, done, done, done. No, we need, we need, we need. Only if Sats joins us as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows the moves already, man. That's it, Satch. Satch is the one going, bad gal in the video. <laughs> 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 Over there. Yeah, come on. <laughs>
Drop the top, slow down the tempo Cruising in a 3-2-8 slow Made it, I could it 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 Sing it, sing it, sing it yeah, 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 yeah. These are what, man? Lala 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 Hey, 